today i'm gonna be designing your imagination in another different way entirely okay so today is about a tutorial i don't want to call it tutorial per se but yeah still so today is about a birthday flyer and i'm doing it in a different way i have ever done before first of this particular person is my guy my very good friend second um university both secondary school and um, university uh friend right so very good in mathematics by the way gdx so now he contacted me and told me guy hope you remember my birthday is coming forth i said okay no problem so he sent me this and this so unfortunately i was very busy with one or two things and i couldn't just you know attend to it very early so and he reminded me again hope he didn't forget to get me it was a very simple design i said okay no problem i'm gonna do that because of my busy schedule so and i think yesterday i just had to tidy up things yesterday that was um 22nd right 22nd of october i just had to tidy some things and you know just to cook up something very simple and very fast because there's no time so now here's what i come up with i'm just gonna slightly you know explain how i did everything here because initially i didn't design it on my system on my pc so i apparently don't have you know um the um opportunity to do it on my system and i can just you know individually explain all of this i mean practically right now so i'm just going to explain what i did then you can follow along and you do something better okay so the two pictures he sent me i i looked at it and i was like what can i do with this i just want to make it really simple and you know not complicated at all it's just a birthday design so i had to pick one of the pictures and i paid it in um after 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 uh removing the background obviously i had to duplicate it then the other side i moved it to the last edge then the second side i moved it to the last edge as well this is a single picture the only thing i did was to duplicate the pictures into two moved it to the last edge moved it to the last edge such that part of the face will be cut off as this so after that then this picture i removed the background as well then i brought it right in the middle because i really don't know what i could do with it and unfortunately i can't move it individually because i didn't design this particular one on my pc what i just did was to import it on my pc then i you know included the write-up because i couldn't include the write-up on the, on the system why because there's not much good fonts and typeface or whatsoever on the system so i had to bring it to my system to make sure that i finish it up with the font so now for this particular image what i did was that i i came to a uh, filter and i picked camera robot unfortunately i don't know why camera disappeared from my system i don't know from my photoshop i don't know so what i did was that i used camera raw on the pc i designed it from then i played around with a whole lot of things there from the the haze um um saturation i, I was just playing around with so many things there then i arrived at this particular um texture so after then i added noise i added noise to everything sorry i added noise to the background i added noise to the image as well so after that i placed this at the middle i, I make a little twerk on this too from the camera raw so after that then i brought it in here to make 
text okay this is locked i will just unlock it like this so this is a text and this is also a text here then after typing this the only thing i just did was to select highlight this and specifically change the color maybe ctrl t we just bring up this then i pick up the color here and i just change the color uh, specifically to this just to create what's it called busy hierarchy yeah emphasis okay so that was the only thing i did there then this was just a normal shape you can pick up the shape here then you see the edge one of the edges is rounded so how you just do that is once once this is selected and you come right here to properties you would always see this then you can you know you can um you know uh, mess with it by unlinking it then you can individually do one or two adjustments to it so this was set to zero that made it to have a sharp edge here sharp edge here and this is 6.5 made it to have a curve right here same thing applicable to this if i click on this you can see that this side shows that this edge is for the top left and this is for the um, bottom left okay if you hover on it you see bottom left corner radius and top left corner radius so it was set to zero and that's why you have a flat edge here and this was 6.5 6.5 and that's why we have a curve here so the only thing i just did was to copy this and duplicate you know duplicate copy and drag then i made the adjustment okay so then the normal text and this is just 25 this is roman numeral yeah roman numeral this stands for 10 10 that's 20 then 5 v is 5 so that's 25 because the birthday is 25th of october and in case in case i'm posting this after 25th happy birthday to you and i wish you long life and prosperity more wisdom and understanding as well so that's just that about this and since he's a mathematician i just felt like okay let me just add a little bit of text or a message rather to just you know um to make it resonate with your personality so i say may your day be filled with as much joy as you bring clarity to complex equations here is to another year of solving life's mysteries one theorem at a time happy birthday so he's a mathematician you can always reach out to him gdx oliver anyway on on your social media whatsoever Jesus. okay so he's very good in mathematics calculation just name it name it science name it and obviously he's a statistician yeah a guru for that matter so that's why i came up with this um, write-up okay so after that yeah so that's that about this write-up then what i just did here like i said i did everything from the previous um photoshop which was not my system so the only thing i just did here could be done in two ways is either you draw a shape and you know you draw a shape and just give it a gradient or you can also use brush to do that just brush through lightly and you achieve this or you can just use gradient by creating an empty okay let me just quickly do that i'll come right here then i'll create a new a new layer i'll click g on my keyboard i'll make sure that this is set to um to back okay then i just hold shift and drag you can see now the reason why it's not showing that obviously is that the opacity is, is down if i should increase it to like 60 i click and drag okay you can see so that's just how i achieved this or how you can achieve it is of different methods you can use brush or the method i just showed and if you're using brush you obviously need to create another layer as well okay so that's that about this 
yeah so after yeah i did one more thing then if you look closely you will see kind of line stuff it's called pattern and that's it here that's it here pattern so what i just did was to come here sorry here that's create a new field so i clicked on it then you see pattern click on pattern you see pattern fill now this is what you have pattern fill so by clicking here you have um some presets actually which are this but i actually created this by myself i don't know maybe i will find a tutorial i mean find time and create a tutorial on how i did it i hope i can still even remember at all so i will just click on this then you see the black stripe appears so that's basically how i came up with the black stripe then i read i i change the blend mode to multiply and i change the fill to 50 percent so that it won't look too obvious if i turn it off now you'll see it a little bit of difference i turn it on i turn it off i turn it on okay so that's basically it about this tutorial and i hope you can still pick up something from it and i hope you love it too so let me let me know in the comment section what you feel about this design it's just a very simple birthday design due to the fact that yeah i really don't have time to sit and you know rack my brain a lot let me know what you feel about this tutorial in the comment section and if you like this please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if this resonates with you don't forget to hit the subscribe button share with um whoever you feel needs to see this maybe someone who is learning how to design share with them let them pick up one or two things and you know you can check my my other tutorials i've, I've had so many tutorials where you can check so many things like birthday design um so many things i've done you can just check it and you know you'll be happy and in case you need anything specifically you can just drop it in the comment section and i will look through to it and see how i can come up with something like something that will really solve your problem okay so yeah that's basically all about this tutorial and i hope you enjoy it don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you've not done so you know the goal is to hit up a thousand before the end of this year and i hope yes you would help me do that okay so that's gonna be all for today and see you on the next one thank you